because of a prolonged labor, a cesarean section was done by the local doctor there. That's when he discovered that actually they were conjoined uh, twins. It's a first set of live uh, conjoined twins uh, separated in Zambia. In the past, most of such cases would be sent to another country and be operated on. We almost got them passports when things were a little difficult to, to be able to send them out for surgery. For eight months we were meeting, debating, arguing, looking at the x-rays, CT scans, ultrasound, uh, looking at the intensive care, whether we were able to manage. So it was a mammoth walk. There was this little sort of ripple of sound when we had the twins separated and then outside you could hear people cheering as the sort of news followed. And then Dr. Bellani brought the parents into theatre and in very traditional Zambian fashion they both spontaneously fell on their knees to thank him in a very traditional way which was incredibly moving. Uh, so these are bricks that he's burning so that he can have a house for himself and his family and the children. Although we have done uh, this separation successfully, we still have a lot. Uh, I mean, to compare ourselves to developed countries, it's, it's not... It's not right. We, we can also just see that where they draw their water from. We have uh, five pediatric surgeons uh, in Zambia with a population of 17 million, 50% would be children. So that would mean uh, one pediatric surgeon for every two to three million children. <laughs> It's a big, big step. And for us, this is our landing on the moon and the giant step for mankind and whatnot. Uh, personally, I put a big smile on my face. I'm going back happy, and when I report to my team, I think they'll be so happy as well. You can see the joy that the twins have brought. They've brought people from faraway places, they've brought people from Ireland. Um, you can see the, their local neighbors. Everyone is just happy. And I think that's the, the feeling I'll go with, joy. It definitely gave us young surgeons and aspiring surgeons something to believe in and, and to feel like we're on the right track. I think the public also feel like they can believe in the, the medical field here as well and not just having people sent outside all the time. So it gives people something to believe in.